hey guys so i've always seen people talking about devops is like it is such a lucrative career uh, devops engineers they earn like like crazies right and and i think this has been happening for the last 5 7 years that people are just i mean they're just dying to be devops engineers and there's i mean there's a conception that oh they get to work on such cool technologies they earn so much of money and stuff like that but nobody actually talks about what a devops engineer goes through being a devops engineer right being a site reliability engineer because i have been a devops a site reliability a linux system admin for over 13 years now so i think i'm in a position to tell you like what's not so good about being a devops engineer right so yeah i'll just start the presentation i had created a slide deck helps me just remember the points right so just start it and yes so number 1 is long working hours so i mean yeah no doubt devops is a very lucrative career and yes devops engineers do earn a lot of money but with that you sacrifice on your family time you sacrifice on a lot of things right what you can do outside of work so there's very little life left outside of work because your working hours are so uh hectic and i mean being a devops and a site reliability engineer who are watching this video they know that we have to do on calls right there are weekly on calls or on calls over weekend so sometimes you just spend working weekends also i mean you won't believe i have been on on calls when i have been on call uh, regress on calls i have been on escalation calls for over 13 hours straight so the call started at like 7 in the morning and i was on the call till 11 or 12 in the night and my breakfast lunch dinner happened on over my laptop and that just frustrated my family my friends because it was a saturday right i had plans but yeah that didn't happen and this is not like just once i've been on such calls for like if i mean the i can remember is like over 10 10 20 times so that's what comes with being a devops or a site reliability engineer very very long working hours let's move on to the next point competition i mean i am not sure what should i tell you about this because on my linkedin every day i get like messages from um, sdets which is software engineers i mean test engineers uh people who are doing front end development people who are actually doing back end development mm. even people who are writing kernels right they all just want to move to devops i'm i don't know like what is wrong with people i mean i actually have to tell a lot of people like you are doing such an amazing work like there was a front end developer i was talking to and he wanted to move to devops and i was like why because front end itself is a very lucrative career like people companies they look for good front end engineers why do you want to come to a a field which is getting exhausted like everybody wants to become a devops engineer now but if you go into market i mean the good thing about being uh, in devops and site reliability is that very few good engineers are there i mean i interview a lot of people so i know like what is the level of people available in the market so that's just one thing but yeah everybody is trying to get into devops i mean it's it's not bad i mean i'm not saying no don't go come into devops but just don't come for the sake of like money uh, the work uh, just i mean some people have uh, pay put a, what you call painted a very shiny picture of devops engineering and site reliability engineering and this you just want to come in don't come for that i mean if you have real passion for the technology if you really want to get if you have real passion for devops i mean then then definitely you should come all right legal responsibility so this as actually i mean this is something from my experience so as a devops or a site reliability engineer you are i mean you have access to a lot of customer data it could be their personal information credit card information their health information right so and you have access to all that data so being a devops engineer becomes very important that you 
are responsible because you are responsible for the security authenticity of that data you are the maintainer of that data and if anything by chance goes wrong if there's a data leak or anything of that sort you and your company will be directly held responsible so that's that's very like there's, there's a very famous quote right with big powers with great powers come great respo- great responsibility it's very much like that so you i mean you are being a devops engineer yeah it is a great power but with that comes very 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 great responsibility so yeah that's that's the point number 3 for me continuous learning so this is only for people who are like have been in industry for over 10 15 years not for people who are just starting or have been in the in industry for like 5 years 4 years and for them i would say yes you should continuously learn new things don't think that oh you're you're getting worn out or you are there's a burnout happening no don't don't worry about that you should continuously learn but yeah people like me who have been in industry for over a decade now i mean continuous learning actually becomes very difficult because that means that i have to sacrifice time which i could spend with my family i mean i have a daughter i would definitely want to spend some time with her over weekends but ultimately i mean i find myself learning something or the other doing some hands on lab or stuff like that i mean building something so i think that's now becoming a pain especially for me i mean i'm not sure about others probably you can comment below in the video but yeah this is becoming a pain for me like continuous learning i mean good thing is that chat gpt is there now so a lot of stuff i can delegate to chat gpt but uh, yeah i mean still there's a lot of continuous learning that you have to do as a site reliability or a devops engineer so sometime it becomes a pain and i think as and when things time will pass i think it is going to become more pain especially for me and people like me so yeah i mean i don't have anything much to say about this and the last is health issues so obviously when you work long hours you are bound to have health issues i mean i have had like so many back problems i've seen like couple of doctors in like last 3 years i even changed my chair so I, earlier i was using a gaming chair and it was like a disaster for my back i spent like 100000 rupees 1 lakh rupees on this herman miller chair because that this supports my back so from last one year and a year or so i mean my back is much is in much better shape but yeah it's i mean it's not only the back i mean you have a lot of other health issues which creep up when you are working long hours sitting in one position stuff like that so i would actually suggest people who are doing this kind of work sitting long hours on a i mean in one position pick up some sport over weekend like i have picked up cricket so i am playing a lot of cricket these days you should work out at least 3 times a day i mean these are just my suggestions but yeah 3 <laughs> you know, times a day 3 times a week you should definitely work out and pick up one sport playing sport is very 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 important especially for engineers especially people working in tech industries who just i mean work long hours and it is this is not specific to devops engineers or site reliability this is for all engineers that pick up a sport even if you have to spend money spend on it this is for your own good right so just do that but yeah if you are a site reliability or devops engineer working long hours health issues will creep up especially the first thing to go will be your back or your neck two things right and i think with that i will conclude this video if you have other things to tell to if talk to me like if you want to tell me something there are other things you see which comes as a part of devops or site reliability job which you think is uh, people are not tell talking about people are not telling about and they're just painting a very shiny picture of this devops thing that oh this is very amazing career and if you just become a devops engineer yeah, all your problems will go away yeah nothing of that sort so yeah i'll be i mean looking forward to hear from you guys and i think for this video this is it thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving a lot of you are watching my video but not subscribing so that's just one request i have please do subscribe to the channel thank you